YouTube. This is what you've all been waiting for, my seven foot Giannis build. Quickly, if you haven't peeped my gameplay video, definitely go check that out first so you know exactly what it is you're getting out of this build. Let's go ahead and get right to it. As you can see, right-handed jersey number 34. Now you can make him a power forward or a center, but I enjoy being the four if another center is present. And that's his position IRL, so the power forward we go. 244 on the weight and 77 on the wingspan. This is the highest wingspan you can attain while maintaining this level of strength. Now for the finishing, you're gonna wanna put up close shot to a 55, driving layup to a 70, driving dunk to a 87, Stand and dunk to a 90 and post control to a 32. Now, my intentions with a low close shot and driving layup is that I want it to initiate a dunk whenever I can. Driving to the rim and standing under the rim, if I put myself in a position and I get a layup or a close shot, I better be ready to rebound the ball. I don't get many of these because of how strong and athletic this build is. So honestly, it's really an afterthought until it happens on that rare occasion. Otherwise, you're just destroying anything on the inside. You're dunking just about everything. Now for the shooting, yes, this is a Giannis build, and yes, he can shoot. I know inside centers and bigs are a thing, but I was more focused on stretching the floor and not being a liability anywhere on the court, and being able to shoot and stretch the floor just opens the game up for this build all the way. So you're gonna go 63 on the midi, and 78 on the three ball and 73 free throw. If you're playing just park or something that doesn't require free throw, then as always, just take it off. Now, the clips in the background should have been showing you that you can really, really shoot on this build. I shoot over 50% on this build with this three ball rating. Take on, take off mainly from the wings i'm not really a corner shooter i i enjoy spacing out the wings that way i can also set screens up top and it just it draws the the center out way further than just being in the corner where he can just slide down and help so i'm a wing shooter and i shoot really well on this on this build defenders will be shocked on the things that you can do inside and out you can literally do whatever you like scoring wise with this build now for playmaking you want to go 88 pass accuracy 65 ball handle and 59 speed with ball now, by no means would 2K allow you to get crazy dribbles at this height. If you want to be able to dribble, try to recreate this at 6'11", then you could get pro dribble animations if you put it at 70, and that's the only way you can get 70 ball handle on a bigger build. Dribbling with a 65 and 59, you have to know what you're doing and be strategic. There's no way you're gonna be Allen Iverson, Lamar Odom, Jamal Crawford, Ben Simmons with The Rock, bro. Like, it's, it's not happening. You have to know what moves to hit, when to hit them, and not to play around too much with it. You have to, like, hit your moves and go. Utilize the push dribble, the same size speed boosting. And my favorite move on this build is 100% the misdirection between the legs or behind the back. You hit one of those, and the center is not going to know what to do at that point his feet are going to be stuck in the mud because he don't have no perimeter defense and you're going to be able to go right past him 88 pass accuracy is slightly excessive so you can lower it and put attributes elsewhere if you choose to but i wanted to get as close to his build name of the two-way slashing playmaker as possible that i could not get i don't think they were just gonna they weren't gonna let me get that so i i needed somewhat high pass accuracy and you also unlock gold break starter at this level, so it's, it's a win-win to be honest. Now for defense, go 88 interior, 38 perimeter defense, 33 steal, 87 block, 93 offensive rebound, and 78 defensive rebound. Interior defense is very high. So lots of times you can honestly just put your hands up and wall off the, uh, the offense and they'll miss a lot of those times and you're just gonna be able to grab the board right off of that rather than having to jump for a block first and then wait to go get a, a rebound afterwards you can just put your hands up and then it's just easier to grab that board because you're not out of position um i've switched on the perimeter players with 38 perimeter defense and to be honest it's just stick work at that point 2k is not going to help you there's no sentence that can help you with having just 38 it's literally stick work knowing when to get off the left trigger and knowing when to slide your feet put your hands up strength also helps that so if they run into you the immovable enforcer pops up so that'll also help out but 38 perimeter defense is straight stick work so you got to know what you're doing same with steel you're not getting any on ball or passing lanes you got to be very careful not to take yourself out of the play the, the passing lanes you can get some but you're not going to be playing them like how you would play them on any build that has steel if you reach for like a pass and it goes past you you're 
you're so slow like it gives you an animation where it's like you're in the matrix bro and you're trying to dodge bullets like it's, it's ridiculous so you have to pick and choose your animations and when you want to reach for that lane still very wisely blocks are easy because you're so big and athletic on this build so i originally had like a 93 block but to get other attributes i just decided to lower it and just go a different route it was 100 percent a great decision as you can see, I, I average 15 plus boards on this build, which is right up there with the best glass cleaners. But I also average 18 points per game when most centers barely reach six or seven unless they're like post scores or something. So this build is is absolutely crazy when it comes to being able to do it on the offensive and the defensive end. Now for the physicals, we're going to go 67 speed, 57 acceleration, 92 strength, 82 vertical and 97 stamina. For the speed, you aren't extremely slow to be this level of rating for your speed and you can keep up with the flow of the game very well a lot of the times you're beating the other center up the court um you're running a break with the rest of everybody else it's, it's not just to get a rebound and throw the ball up the court like you can initiate the offense with this build and the strength of this build is really the highlight and having a high vertical at seven foot is just unfair i jump so high for rebounds and block attempts i'm able to jump further on chase downs it's it's honestly just a plus and as you can see in the shades, we get Evan Mobley, Amari Stoudemire, and Carl Anthony Towns. The build is a two-way diamond inside-out threat. Now, since you've got the build, you know all the uh, attributes and everything for that, I'm going to show you guys everything I use for the build. Jump shot, uh, animations, the whole nine, giving you guys the sauce. All right, as you guys can see, we're back on the build. Two-way diamond inside-out threat. I'm a 96 overall. Could be a 98 but I'm not really putting no more VC on this build. I have another build that I'm probably going to start playing with. If not very soon, then later when uh, the next season drops. Um, Most of my badges are maxed out at this point. Uh, I don't even, I haven't even used my second floor setter for that. Um, Start you off with my animations. We'll go through the SIGs. Uh, Pastel, Trey Young. These are the only other ones I've been using. Um, Magics was absolutely terrible for me. I don't like it. So I was really switching back and forth in between John Morant and Trey Young, but Trey Young's is, is really good. Dribble style normal. Signature size up normal. Regular breakdown combo normal. Aggressive breakdown combo Kawhi. Uh, Joel and beat escape moves, combo moves normal, basic crossover, normal behind the back, nickel Jokic spin, normal hesitation, normal step back, Joel and beat uh, triple threat style, no park flashy pass. Um, I would go through them, but honestly, it's really just basic and normal. I mean, you got Giannis's, but for whatever reason, I just don't really like it compared to like the normal. The normal just, I don't know, it just, it feels better in game than Giannis. Giannis is kind of slow. And Kawhi is just, I don't know, it's just too stiff. Just standing up too straight. I feel like the ball gets stolen with that one. Be easy. Like I said, majority of these are just going to be basic and normal options. Uh, this is a really good one for Kawhi. Um, escape moves, you don't really have much. Uh, it's just personal preference, honestly, because it, it's not really much variety with these. It's either you're going to choose basic or you're going to choose normal. It's just knowing what you can do with them, to be honest. And then I got Giannis free throw on, uh, Zion's layup style, dunk style. It says Giannis. It's just, I'll, I'll show you guys. I just put a dunk package together. Uh, Dirk's pull up. I don't really do pull ups because I don't even have my midi up. So anytime I shoot a midi, I'm literally timing 25 stat for a mid range. So basic jumper, uh, basic spin jumper. That is uh, normal hop jumper. DeMar DeRozan post fade. I, like I said, I don't have midi. Basic post hook, basic hop shot. Drew Eubanks motion style, which is the fastest one apparently. So it's the one I use. It also kind of looks like Giannis in a way. Going to the dunks that I have on, got fist pump, rim pulls, uh, all the baseline reverses, pro contacts off two, got Haynes, I got the reverses, I got windmills off one. 
regular standing, got the elite basket rim pulls, the one hand regular. Then I got pro and elite standing. Then I got Giannis, uh, Dwight Howard and LeBron. And then oops, I got all of them. And then the contact, the pro and the big contact. These are the only three jump shots I have currently. Um, I just made this one because I thought I was gonna make my player look like AD for a little bit, but I didn't. So I haven't really used the jump shot. I kind of just threw it together. So these are the only two that I even remotely looked at. I don't even know which one of these I have on. Okay, so I'm using Giannis too. So I'll just show you this one. That's the other one I was looking at. It's, it's pretty quick. Uh, I don't I don't remember if I actually used it or not. I think this was around the time that 2K started messing with like the shooting time in and, and switching stuff back and forth. So I don't think I used this one because it felt a little broke when I was testing it and 2K was switching all kinds of stuff. So ended up not using this one. And I'm sorry, I keep backing out. And this is the only one I've, I've used on this build. So you got Jonathan Isaac base, Giannis upper one, and Tyler Cook upper two. 100% Giannis. I think I was using the, the Tyler Cook as the second because I was using some kind of upper release that was giving me, um, it was putting it in a red. So like I, I didn't have a, a three ball high enough to attain that jumper. So. I was throwing Tyler Cook on there because apparently it, it lowers the shot so much, but doesn't really do anything to like the stats of the shot. So you can use it. But honestly, this is what I'm using and it's, it's cash. You release it right there as he's pushing it just away from his forehead. And it's, it's money. Like, I don't know what else to say. You've seen it. It's money. Oh, look, man. Yeah, you guys are sauce. You've seen the bill. You know how to make the bill. Check out <laughs> the Bucks mask I saw and buy. But like I said, this build is probably the best Giannis build on this game. I don't think any other build is, is touching it as far as Giannis is concerned, bro. Like this, this is the one, the one, like the only one at, at the pinnacle, the top of the pyramid is, is this build. And under it is every other Giannis build. I don't care. So if you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys enjoyed the build, please leave a like, hit that sub button, turn on post notifications, that way you're notified every time I drop a new video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.